good morning children being commerce student we have to know about stocks and shares the mathematical idea behind it to start a business a large sum of money is needed can a single person afford to use all that no this total sum of money which needs to be invested is divided into equal parts and each such part we call share and if he is selling people may go and buy that in a market called stock market and now he is purchasing some shares so he is the holder of shares so we call him as a shareholder the total amount invested to start a company we call capital stock and you who buys the shares are called stockholders now we need to know certain values which we have to use in problem solving face value market value face tells us the value that is written on the share certificate so the original value of share printed on the share certificate we call face value then what is market value we don't sell it for the same value in the market suppose face value may be 100 i can sell it at a premium of 15 so this tells me 100 plus 15 is my market value so when i sell for more amount i call premium sometimes i may sell it at a discounted rate yes 100 is the face value but i may sell it giving a discount of 15% so 85 is my market value so this we will say quoted at discount sometimes face value is 100 and we sell it at par the word at par tells us market value and face value are equal so what is market value the price at which the stock is bought or sold in the market so if you are going to buy it in the market which market stock market we say where the shares are bought or sold that market we call stock market and in the stock market or i can say stock exchange where the shares are traded you can get it at premium or discount or at par the value that is bought or sold we term as market value can you just go and buy it in the market no we definitely need some persons like mediators the one who is well aware of who is selling who is buying who is in need of so those persons we call brokers so stock brokers are there and they just do it without fee no they do levy a fee for their service the fee for brokers for their service is called brokerage and brokerage is based on face value and we normally express it in percentage when share is purchased we are purchasing the share we need to pay brokerage also so add brokerage with the market value when i am selling the shares i have to give the brokerage in that case subtract the brokerage from market value remember these things for one mark questions purchasing tells us add brokerage with market value and selling tells us subtract brokerage from market value 
cell subtract remember yes yes so whenever it is sold subtract yes yes remember the first letters as we move on to the mathematical part of it let us learn some formula for the better understanding of the problems number of shares two ways i can calculate suppose they give you face value of one share and the total face value divide total face value divide by face value of one share gives us number of shares not only that you can divide investment by market value of one share so both the cases give us number of shares either total face value by face value of one share or investment by market value of one share so in all the problems we will be finding number of shares why do we need it we need to calculate the income what is the income from the shares so what is the formula for income how many shares i have that is number of shares into face value into rate percentage what is this rate percentage every year the company will declare the dividend rate for the shareholders that we call rate percentage so income is the product of number of shares face value and rate percentage is that the only percentage no there is yet another percentage of return we say return this tells me what is the return on my investment so what is the formula income by investment into 100 investment is the total market value market value of one share we denote mv investment tells the entire market value of how many shares i hold so what is the percentage of return yield also we say percentage of return we say percentage of whatever he receives back we say so in all these cases remember the formula income by investment into 100 and whatever answer you get put it as percentage now there is some interesting question like this a person who is holding some shares he is selling for some money that money he doesn't keep it to himself he invest in another share now the question is what is the change in income how do you calculate before selling find out the income after selling find out the income so change in income tells us the income after sales minus the income before sales if after sales is more i will say he has got profit if after sales is less we will say he has incurred a loss so depending on the question check whether he achieved profit or loss investment every time we say it is market value of all the shares so how do i write the formula total number of shares into market value of one share having known certain basic terms in stocks and shares and some easy formula let us proceed on to the exercise problems exercise 7.2 question number 1 find the market value of 62 shares available at rupees 132 having the par value of rupees 100 par value tells this is face value so as you read the question understand face value is rupees 100 at tells me market value so market value is rupees 
market value of 62 shares tells me number of shares is 62. So having known all this, what is the question? Find the market value of 62 shares. What is the market value of 1 share? Rupees 132. Then what is the market value of 62 shares? Multiply. We know number of shares into market value of 1 share. Just multiply and write it. We get rupees 8184. So market value of 62 shares is rupees 8184. Question number 2. How much will be required to buy 125 of rupees 25 shares at a discount of rupees 7? How many shares to buy 125 of? So number of shares is 125. Rupees 25 shares tells me face value is rupees 25. How to get market value? Face value minus discount. So whenever they tell you premium, add with face value. Whenever they tell discount, subtract from face value. So 25 minus 7 is 18. Now we want 125 shares. So 125 into 18. Multiply. We get 2250. What is the question? How much will be required? How much is required now? 2250. So rupees 2250 will be required to buy 125 shares. Question number 3. If the dividend received from 9% of rupees 20 shares is rupees 1620, then find the number of shares. Question is find the number of shares. So take number of shares as X. Dividend is nothing but income. How do you calculate? Number of shares into face value into rate percentage. In this question, dividend is rupees 1620. Face value, rupees 20 shares. Tell me, face value is rupees 20. Rate percentage, they have given 9 percentage. Let us substitute. So, dividend 1620 equals number of shares. We have taken X. Face value 20. Rate percentage is 9 by 100. Cross multiplying. X is equal to 1620 into 100 divided by 20 into 9. Simplifying. We get 900. What is the question? Find the number of shares. Let us take and write. Number of shares equal to 900. Question number 9. Which is better investment? 7% of rupees 100 shares at rupees 120 or 8% of rupees 100 shares at rupees 135. We are given two types of investments and we need to decide which is better. Here the amount is 120. See when you read the problem. This is rate percentage. Rupees 100 shares tell me this is face value. At 120 tells me this is market value. Similarly, 8% is rate percentage. Rupees 100 tells me face value. At rupees 135 tells me market value. So both the market values let me consider as a product for the amount to be invested. To ease my calculation, let us find out the income separately. So, 7% at 120. What is the face value? It is 100. What is the rate? It is 7%. And what is the investment? 120 into 135. How will you calculate the income? 
seven by one twenty into the investment one twenty into one thirty five. Seven for one twenty tells me what is the income for this amount. So multiply, I get rupees nine forty five. Similarly, what is the income here? Here again, face value hundred. Rate percentage is eight percent. What is the income? Eight for one thirty five. So what is it for one twenty into one thirty five? I get eight into twelve nine six zero. So which is better investment here? First one tells me nine forty five, whereas the second one tells me nine sixty. So this is better. So we will take and write eight percent at rupees one thirty five is better investment. Question number ten, which is better investment? Twenty percent stock at one forty or ten percent stock at seventy? Here again the same pattern. One forty at one forty market value of first share. At seventy market value of second share. Multiplying and keep it as the investment to ease our calculation. Twenty percent stock at one forty. How to calculate income? Twenty by one forty into investment. One forty into seventeen, we get rupees thousand four hundred. Ten percent at seventeen. Here, how do we calculate? Ten by seventy into one forty into seventeen. Here also the amount is rupees thousand four hundred. So which is better? They are equivalent stocks. So we say. The income from both the investments are same, so both the investments are same, or we can use the word. Equal.